Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD. My name's Chris. Um, today I'm just going to be going over the basics of SolidWorks, um, just doing some 2D sketches and extruding them to 3D. Um, so to get started, if, I'm just going to go up here to New and open up a part file. So now I've opened up a blank part file. Um, to get started now, you have your origin, which is the datum. So this is zero zero to um, to the part that you're about to draw, and then you have your three planes: top, front, right, um, and then that point in the middle is your datum point. So that's the x y z zero. So that's the start point for your part. So. Just to give you a quick overview, I'm going to draw a cube on the front plane. So I'm going to click front plane, go to sketch, and then click the sketch tool. From here, I'm going to go to rectangle, click on the center point. So that's the um, datum point of the sketch and create a cube. So from here, this cube is now the center point of this X is now on the datum point and it's constrained to the data point. I'm now going to click smart dimensions and give this box some dims. So it's going to be 100 by 100. So from there, I'm going to exit the sketch at the top here. I'm going to go to features. Then I'm going to go extrude. So now I'm t creating, making this 2D sketch a 3D part, so I'll make that 100. So now I have a 3D cube. So from there, I'm going to click on the top surface of the cube, click sketch again, and go to the sketch tool. So now I'm drawing on that cube face. So if I draw a line from point to point. That line has now gone black because it's fully defined because it, it is defined by this cube and this the surface of the cube. So if I click and I'm going to tick here, I've clicked the line and I'm going to tick here to make it a construction line. I'm going to click circle and then I'm going to click this point here. So this is the midpoint of the line. And I'm going to make that so from there, I'm going to exit the sketch and I'm going to go to features again and I'm going to go extruded cut. So now extruded base boss create solids. This uh, takes solids away. So if I click that and it's already selected my sketch because it's the only sketch that was in the part. And it's going to cut a hole in. So now I'm going to go direction. I could just put a dimension in, but I'm going to go down to um, up to surface and then click the bottom surface and then tick it. So now I've got a cube with a hole through it. They are very basic tools for SolidWorks. It's a great way to start uh, for beginners um, there'll be more tutorials to come I hope you found this video helpful um, if you did please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see see you soon